football, football, fancy. Football, football, fancy. Football, football, fancy. Football, football, fancy. Are you working on your beard to be like Fitz Magic? <laughs> How the Colts doing? <laughs> Colts, dude. Uh, they they they'll be fine. They play the Jets this week. They so. beat they. I picked them to beat Minnesota, and everybody in this pick'em league was choosing Minnesota. So that was when it shot me ahead. And then I picked the Dolphins last night too. I think so, Dolphins was a good pick last night. Yeah, honestly. I felt I felt good. Fitz Magic is again the beard. Fitz Magic is magic in September. I lost money on that last night. Oh, I had the Jags. Oh, in two games, two bets. Well, Minshew, man. Yeah, he looked he looked horrible. He did. <laughs> he did. A, a guy that I cannot name on this podcast went up against me in fantasy football, and he he benched Tannehill for Minshew. For Minshew, and I was like, when I when, actually when I looked at the app this morning, I didn't had no clue he did that. Look, I'm like eight point nine. What did he like? Did he have like the tight end or like who who gets eight point <laughs> nine points? <laughs> and then I looked, I'm like quarterback. <laughs> I'm a <gonna> win. <laughs> well, you don't talk bad about a beard, especially an awesome beard. I mean. <laughs> yeah, he has, it's, it's a solid traveling beard. He has. <laughs> the only uh, saving grace is James Robinson for me last night, dude. Robinson and Gaskin, both of those guys look good. But Robinson, what two touchdowns? Yeah. Man, he looked great. Yeah. Um, all right, well let's. Uh, what we're gonna do right now, guys? This is the Sunday morning edition. It's a it's a quick edition. It's not gonna be a long one. It's just gonna talk about. Quick fantasy football, uh, sit them, start them. So if you're sitting on the couch right now and you're looking at your, you're looking at your, uh, uh, you know, your app right now, looking at your roster and you're deciding who do I start, who do I sit, why don't you go ahead and, and just listen? So first up, we're going to have Craig Bentley. We've got the Bentley brothers here, Craig and Corey Bentley. And, uh, we're going to take a look at their list. Craig, share us your, uh, who, who are you sitting? <clears throat> well, as far as sitting, I'm basi- I, I'm sitting any Johnson on Houston that's playing against Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh's uh, defense is very stout against any uh, rushing any, touchdowns. Anything. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so no Duke. No, no Johnson, no, period. No, <laughs> hey, what if Keyshawn shows up? Are you gonna- <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's going to be in the backfield, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Urban Magic, no? Like He just shows up? It, anybody in that backfield. <laughs> Yeah, no, they, that I'm telling you I, right now. I have Deshaun Watson. That's my sit. I'm sitting Deshaun Watson. I actually have Ben Roethlisberger too on my team. So I'm I I I don't know if the te- the Texans are it this year. I mean, it's it's hard for me to get behind Deshaun. So I'm I'm actually sitting him for uh for for Ben Big Ben. That may be a good sit. I mean, I got Watson in the two leagues I'm in, yeah. and I don't have a backup that yeah. I feel comfortable. So I'm going to run with him. Yeah, just but, hope. But I, I could see how that would be a good good sit. Steelers D is scary. Yep. What about, do you got to sit him? Uh, I would sit any member of the Jets offense. I don't care who it is. <laughs> <laughs> you should just avoid it at all okay. costs. Okay. I feel like <laughs> that's a gimme. I, like, can you name anyone on the Jets offense right now? I would. Bench Chris Herndon. <laughs> Get rid of him. What are you talking about? I start- Arnold, bench him. You're not starting Frank Gore? <clears throat> Frank, I Frank mean, Gore. Frank Gore. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he might get five carries for four yards. Maybe it, he might get a touchdown out of it. I One yard TD. That's where it's at. Colts defense hasn't been bad, so. Who, uh, I already said Deshaun. Who else, who else are we sitting, Craig? So I'm also going to sit what a lot of people thought might be a good pickup this week and and Freeman or Lewis on the Giants. I'm not I'm not I'm not playing any one of them. You so you're not playing Lewis at all even? Nope. Not me. Okay, so you're saying no running back right now. It's all in the hands of the quarterback which is uh gosh, uh what's his name? Daniel No, Jones. 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 Daniel yeah. Jones, yeah. Uh so you're saying it's all on him. Him, him and Golden Tate. Golden Tate, but here's the thing. <laughs> Evan Ingram, Evan Ingram supposed to be this I drafted him in every tight end position. I'm sitting him this week. He's my sit. We're on the same page on this. I can't stand Evan Ingram. I, I'm I'm done with him. I'm I'm out on him. What about you, uh, Gronk? I don't know why anybody has playing Gronk anymore. He I don't even. You can drop Gronk probably. Did you get away did, with it? Did you hear what Arian said? Th- that he's a blocking tight. He's end? He's a yeah. blocking <laughs> tight end. I mean, that's that's a ploy. Eventually, they're going to pass the ball to him, but you cannot safely start him right now. Uh, do you got any more uh, sit-ems, Craig? No, I got a, I got a couple that go start them. Who, who's your start Let's go so, start So I got I got McCaffrey. He's obviously out, right? 
Oh, don't start him. I, I no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't, <laughs> keep, do not start him. Keep him on the bench. Ma- yeah. Make uh, sure he's not in your Saquon lineup. Saquon and McCaffrey, <laughs> McCaffrey is, a, is a really safe start this week. <laughs> but but I am in on Mike Davis. Are you? I am, I am for the simple fact that Carolina doesn't have a lot of options, okay. and they're going to try to treat him like they do McCaffrey. Mm. So I, I think he's going to get passed to. I think he's going to be handed off to quite a bit. I am in on Mike Davis. I would play Jordan Reed because the last news that I heard is that Kittle is going to be out. And so Jordan Reed, San Jordan Francisco Reed is going to be playing. Even though you got a backup QB, you're st- he's still going to have to have an outlet for the tight end. So I would play Jordan Reed if I needed a tight end. Now, how long is Kittle supposed to be out? Isn't he questionable right yeah, now? Yeah, he was he's, practicing. He's out, and he's out for this game. He'll be back. It's yeah. a short term fix if you just need a tight end for this week. All right. I like it. Uh, who I've got is Corey Davis uh, with A.J. Brown out. That's a start for me. Uh, Juno Smith right now, he's he was com- is the tight end for the Titans. He's kind of hobbling just a little bit, but I don't know. He scored two touchdowns last week. So I'm thinking they're going to put a little more pressure on uh, – an, oh, jo- not Juno. Jonu. Jonu. And, uh, Janu. And then right now I don't know what's happened with Derrick Henry. Um, he's got to bust out eventually. He at some point he does. He just kind of hits that wall, hits that wall, and then at some. I was waiting for it where then he just gets his forty to fifty to sixty yard run, and it just didn't happen last week. So it's like starting a an old lawnmower sometimes. They was just. But yeah, my start is uh, is Corey Davis. Any other starters for you? You know, if you want to look for a tight end, I agree with Reed what Corey said, but. You know, if if he's still out there, which in most leagues I don't think he should be, but if he is, Goddard this week against Cincinnati with him and uh, two tight end sets for the Eagles. Ertz, yeah. It, I think it's a good play this week. I would imagine he should be rostered in most he should, leagues. He should, should be, be rostered. rostered. I, just, I actually yeah. traded Eric Madrid for him today. So I traded. Do you plan on starting him? I'm I'm starting Goddard. There you yeah. go. That's that's it. Yeah. That's inside knowledge. I talked to my buddies in Philly. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> Well, I actually got another tight end too. If you need, if he'll be on the waiver wire. If you need one desperately, is uh, Mo Ali Cox on the Colts because Doyle's not healthy and uh, Rivers was throwing to him nonstop. He had over 100 yards last week, so he's another spot start for a game that can get you through if you need a tight end. And what what is his name? Mo Ali Cox. How have I not heard this guy before? Uh, he's been on the Colts practice squad for years, a couple years now. I think he's an old basketball player that they turn into a tight end. Okay, I'll have to uh, I'll have to research that he's one. A, a little he's a bit big more. guy. Uh, real quick, I'm going to do my my stardom. Uh, James Conner. I just feel like he's going to have a phenomenal day. Uh, I feel like he's he's on that he's on that cusp of just going and just having some boom. He's done it before, but some boom, putting up some boom points. Um, Texans D is what it used to be. We when it used to listen to Texans D, you used to think of um, Clowney. You used to think of that was Burt. Who else do you used to think of? Well, he's still there, but you think of J.J. Watt. Yeah, but he, yeah, you do think of J.J. Watt. Who was the linebacker? Cushing? The linebacker that was there for a while? Yeah. yeah. Out of US, the USC guy? Is that who it was? Yeah, but now you don't. they're not as big of a scary threat. And so I think it's going to be a lot of dump-off passes. Ben Roethlisberger is perfect at those. And uh, I think you're going to see James Conner and I think uh, Snell going, Benny Snell, going pretty hard on that. Yeah, hopefully you have Snell if you have Conner. So here's I'm gonna just throw some yeah exactly have handcuff those I'm gonna throw some uh, names at you you say start or sit okay because there's there's some names out there that you're used to starting that you might be sitting and there's some names out there that you just don't know they still pr- seem to be performing and you don't know why so first and foremost Kareem Hunt back up to Nick Chubb who seems to be putting on the points are you starting him in a flex uh, or are you Still, still going to sit him. I'd start him. You, you can start both of them running backs. If I had both of them on my team, I'd start him. Start them like yeah. kind of like how you used to do with uh, uh, was it was it uh, Ingram? You'd, if you got Ingram and Murray, uh, Murray, you would start them both, right? Or you know, K- Kamara. Kamara, Sorry. yeah, I, Kamara. I think you can yeah. safely start Hunt the entire year because either way. So if the Browns are up and they want to burn the clock, they're going to run the ball. Hunt still gets carries. If the Browns are down and they're passing downs. Hunt's still out there. You're going to get him out there either way. I feel like that's what they wanted to do with Duke Johnson Jr. last year. 
but they just couldn't do it. And then Kareem Hunt is coming coming in hard on that. All right, what about uh, Todd Gurley? What are you doing with Todd Gurley at this point? I mean, what? yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. I, if you had to flex him, but I would. I, if I had other options, I would bench him or try to I try to flip him for somebody. Trade him for someone. Yeah. I have him. I'm starting him. Um, As it's a not flex, a, it, at the flex. It's not a oh goody goody start, but I feel comfortable starting him at least for the time being. The problem with them is they're da- they're getting these games where they're just airing the ball out too much. I mean, it's good for like I have Ridley in the league and he's just tearing it up. So did you start him the first two weeks? Uh, yeah, I started him every week. I did not. I had on my bench. I would have been. I'd be two and zero right now if I would have had started Ridley. Um, I'm zero and two. I realized just right now I'm zero and two. <laughs> you sounded very sad. Yeah, I thought I was one and one, and I'm like, no, wait, I lost last week. Um, yeah, so yeah, no, I would be Ridley t- <laughs> two and zero right now. You have the zero and two club over there. Yeah, it oh, sucks. Yeah. Are you an zero two or two? Dude, it sucks. <laughs> it's horrible. So Marvin Jones Jr. <laughs> Why are you guys listening to these guys? <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, hey, I'm two, two and zero in a couple <laughs> other leagues. Okay, buddy. Two of us being zero and two, you're one and one, right? Yeah, I'm one and one. In both so leagues. take what we're saying for a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I could go back, here's my here's my 2020 hindsight picks. Think of yours while I'm doing mine. Last year, I had Lamar Jackson and Mark Ingram, and that was a great duo. I loved that duo. I was getting points almost every time they would drive down, whether it was Lamar running it in, throwing it to Mark Andrews, uh, throwing it to Hollywood Brown, or even Mark Ingram getting in. So it was great. I wish I did the duo again this year. I had the chance to go Russell Wilson and Chris Carson, but I was afraid of Chris Carson. I just was what I was reading. He wasn't doing what I, what I thought he'd be doing on the, uh, you know, in preseason. He, he was gone a lot. So I was a little worried about it. Going back, I wish I would have grabbed Chris Carson and did the, the tandem there. Do you guys have any, like, ugh, I had him, but I, and I thought about it, but I talked myself out of it. Uh, picks. Oh, I mean, in hindsight, a lot of people probably didn't take Wilson uh, ahead of some other uh, quarterbacks. And <laughs> looking at that, that's for the first two weeks at least. I mean, that's been ridiculous. So, right. I mean, in our league, uh, looking back, I wish I would have taken the risk of Jonathan Taylor earlier, even though because we would, I would have to give a draft pick for him next year for keeping him. But from what he looks like right now and the opportunity he has already, that I would have been. Picking up a fourth or fifth would have been fine. Were you kicking that around in your head for a little bit? Yeah, I was trying to let him go longer, and then another guy took him. And so I ended up with CD Lamb instead because the other guy took him. Gotcha. So in your pick, you don't do you have a it was besides Russell? You think you, you agree with me on Russell? Or was oh, no, absolutely, I agree with you. And did yeah. you have a shot at Russell? And you thought, well, in, just... in one of the leagues, I did. Gotcha. And you know, didn't didn't take it. Yeah, Russell went pretty early in your league, though. I think he yeah. went in the first round, didn't he? Uh, didn't Kyle take him in the first? He might have. Yeah, yeah. I think he went early in that league. All right. Well, we're hitting that 15-minute mark. Uh, who, real quick, if you're doing the uh, Survivor, who are you choosing in a Survivor League right now? Uh, team-wise, who do you like? I and mean, you can only use them once. I think it's thing. the time if you're going to use the Colts to use them against the Jets. Yeah. Andy. Yeah. I, man, It's this, this year has been already – there's not a – a standout, but uh, I guess if I had to choose this week, after Monday night's game, I may I may go out on a limb and take Green Bay. Green Bay over uh, Saints. Saints. That's a that's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's a, I'd say that's a close one. So if you're wanting to use Green Bay and you for whatever yeah. there's just burn a hole in your pocket. Yeah, I mean, it is week three, so I might I might take that back if I sit and think about it a little more. But yeah. <laughs> Well, I you know, for me, I like the Indy Jets. I thought about that, but I feel like Indy's going to catch fire. But I don't know. Sorry, I think the Jets at some point are going to have some weird, like you're like, where did this come from? And I feel like honestly, this week though, they're down their top two receivers. They're out already. That's true. Crowder yeah. and uh, Perryman. No, wait, who's? Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be so sad if the Colts lose to the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna hear from everybody. No, I'm gonna hear from everybody. <laughs> they have like half a team out there. <laughs> Uh, I chose actually in my Survivor League. I chose the Cardinals over the Lions. I almost went Indy. I actually almost. I mean, I did pick Dolphins last night over Jags, and I thought, you know, wouldn't that be a pretty fun Survivor pick? But I'd be too like. Yeah, it could. I feel like at the beginning of the game, it could have gone any any which way. But Fitz Magic in September is just beautiful. That Cardinals game is going to be a good game. I Gall- think so. Galladay might be back. Yeah, Galladay. So let me ask you, Marvin Jones. Do you, do you if you have Marvin Jones, you've been playing Marvin Jones. Now that uh, uh, Galladay's back, 
Do you sit him? Uh, I think you st- at least this week you can play him and see what happens because I think Galladay might come back, but he still might be on a pitch count. I don't know if he'll be full or not. I'm actually benching Galladay still in a league I have him in because I have Hopkins, Ridley, and Marquise Brown and Galladay. Oh, wow. So I'll bench Galladay for uh, Brown just on Monday night just to see if Galladay comes back full. I'd, <clears throat> I'd probably do the same thing. I mean, if I had two other receivers that were better than Jones, I'd sit Jones, but I don't see an issue playing him again because, like I said, I don't – I don't think Galladay is going to be huge this week. So uh, it kind of depends on your lineup and what your other receivers are. Now that we said that, I'm going to start him because he's probably going to score like three touchdowns. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone. Thanks for joining us uh, today. Uh, hey, let's get going. Hope your team wins. Send us picks. Send us who you think. Who, send us your sleepers. Send us who you want to start and sit, and, and uh, we'll, we'll discuss that. Uh, thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right. Uh, go Hawks. Boo. I'm I'm fine with that as long as we say go Eagles also. <laughs> go A, go AFC team. <laughs>